Sunday chat with Sloan and Kat. Today we are here with Tyler and he is a nine-year-old actor. How old were you when you first started acting? I was about four years old, four and a half. How did you get started in acting? Well, my neighbor, um, she just asked my mom if um, I wanted to be an actor and my mom said, sure. Can you tell us some of the things you've done? Yeah, well, um, I've done some like um, um, like voice work first of all, like for Max and Ruby and like the new Bagar, I was Monroe, and um, like some commercials on voice work, like um, Goldfish, and then some actual acting like um, like Anna Green Gables and like the Band-Aid brand commercial and uh, in God's Country and uh, yeah, some other stuff. What does it mean when you do a voiceover? Well, like you know in cartoons when you're like, when you see like the little rabbit like Max talking? Well, like that's obviously not a rabbit's voice. That's like um, someone like me or like um, like Jim Carrey, who, how he plays the Grinch. And what they do is they put his voice, they record his voice. And then, yeah, they just make the um, little bunny guy or the Grinch talk, like move his lips, and then they put the um, voice they got into that. So they sink it in. So you do the voice of Max the Bunny. Can you show us? Uh, I guess, well, like I wasn't ready for that, but, um... Froggy! Crab! Crab! Golf ball! Can you do any other voices? Well, yeah, I could do Monroe. Come on, guys! We gotta get to the Tunnel of Zarth before Croc does. Do you have to memorize this stuff, or do you read it off a sheet? Yeah, you can read it off and just look at it, and yeah, but you can't make too much noise flipping the page. Which comes first, the voice of the cartoon? Um, normally the voice does, and for some, like really old, like in the olden days, they had the cartoon first. I heard you do an imitation of Andy Frost, the guy that announces the Toronto Maple Leaf hockey game. Yeah, I do. Do you want me to do it for you guys? Sure. <laughs> in starting goal, number 35, Vesa Toscala. On right defense, number 8, Carlo Kolyakovo. On right wing, number 18, Ian White. Yeah, that was really funny. <laughs> So I heard that you did lots of commercials. I've done the Leon's commercial when I was like uh, four, like that was my very first thing. I've done um, the Band-Aid commercial, the new one, the online one. I've done the McDonald's commercial. What did you do in the Band-Aid's commercial? I had to like dance around and sing the Band-Aid brand song. Can you sing the line for us? Yeah, I guess so. I am stuck on Band-Aid brand because Band-Aid stuck on me. That was good. Thank you. What else have you done on TV? Um, I've done movies like In God's Country, which is on TV. Uh, well, it's not on TV anymore. I've done um, In the Green Gables, which was on TV. I've done, what else? Um, a movie called The Listener. It's like a series, but I was in like two scenes of one episode. And then I've done a short film called Watering Mr. Coco. Who are some of the actors that you worked with? Well, I've worked with people like uh, Shirley MacLaine. I've worked with Rachel Blanchard and Kelly Rowan. I really like Anne of Green Gables. What was your part in it? I played the character named Jock. So how do you fit this in with school? Well, like, I miss it, but, like, I have my own personal tutor. Well, not my personal. It's with all the, like, children there. Do you always want to be an actor? Well, kind of. Like, like, I have, like, two really big things I want to be when I grow up. I want to be a National Hockey League hockey player, which is the big leagues. And then, yeah, I'd also want to be an actor or take on my dad's business. If being a hockey player doesn't work out, you can definitely be an announcer. Do you play hockey now? Yeah, I do play rep hockey. I have actually a practice tonight. <laughs> For other kids that would like to get into movies or voiceovers like you, how would they get into doing that? Well, first of all, you'd have to find the right agent and you get like called out to auditions and um, like you have to have like the right stuff they need and if you're right for the job they'll take you in and uh, yeah. Do you ever get nervous doing these? No, not really. Like I just know that like they always edit it and um, they always like make sure like you got everything right. If you could pick what type of movie you'd be in, which one would it be? Well like um, 
probably like since I kind of like horror films, it would probably be in like a horror film just because I like scary stuff. If you could work with any actor, who would you want to work with? Uh, probably Tom Cruise because he's really big and he's in most of the movies I like or Jim Carrey because he's like hilarious. So thank you so much for coming. Oh, you're welcome. It sounds like you've done really interesting things and we wish you all the best for the future. So we'll see you next time on Fit for a Feast. Bye. Bye. Bye.